Okay, so ito. So, this is our basic structure. So, you have the import here for your scanner library and for the library of the scanner class. And then you have your public class here. Then you have your main method over here. Public static void main string m m e. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do? Okay, comment lang natin dito sa taa dito sa ano para hindi tayo makonfuse sa gagawin natin. So we're going to create a program arithmetic, de ba? That will get the sum uh, diff product product and and co quotient of two numbers okay so what's the difference between this and the first uh, first arithmetic <coughs> arithmetic class that we, we've done is we will allow the user to input the sum different i uh, sorry to input the two numbers so first is we're going to initiate a uh, we're going to create our variables so we're going to have integers since these are numbers then ano ba yung sige let's just have x and y ay sorry x kasi naka indicate sa problem so what is the problem nga ba kasi teka lang i'll change na lang my screen para makapagsalit salit Okay, so in here, the problem is we're going to create a flowchart and program that will solve the sum or the sum difference product and quotient of the two numbers x and y. So, nasabi naman yung variable niya dito x and y. That's why it is valid to use x and y. So, in this program, the value of x is 17 and the value of y is 12. But what we're going to do today is we're going to allow the user to enter the value of x and y. Okay, so going back to the program, so we have the x and y here, and then of course we're going to instantiate the scanner method, scanner, to system dot in. Okay, so going to have that. Okay, so. Next thing is we're, what we're going to do is we're going to prompt the user to enter the numbers. So we have the system that out that then enter first first number. So the first number is x, of course. What kaya lagi na una yung x ano? Char. <laughs> x is equal to uh, input. So that is the name of our scanner variable. That since it's integer, we we will we are going to use next int. So for the second number, since we're tamad char, so second, then input that. Uh, we're going to change the variable into y. Okay. So natapos na natin yung pagkukuha ng variables. So, we're just going to comment things for your guidance. Uh, guidance. So, this is to uh, user will enter the numbers. Ayan. So, it's good that you're going to, that you're commenting in your program. So, it is actually a great practice if you if you enter or you're going to include comments while you're programming so that when you're studying your code in the future uh, or I don't know if you just need to review your codes for exams ganon, uh, you know what each part yung purpose nung each part Anibon, ito. so etong block na ito so etong gagawin na ito is the user will enter the numbers at least saka indicate dyan. so di, ito yung problem natin and then Okay, so uh, in instance uh, instantiation of variables, variables, hence, ayan. And then, so next is we're going to solve for the solving for for some, ganyan, ganyan. 
some what you need to solve is the sum, difference, product, and quotient. So we're going to create new sets of variable again. So you can also include this this here. But I want to use double for this one because uh, especially in the division part, you have the, the chances of having it in a decimal. So if you watch the last video, the one that I uploaded, yung hindi natin discuss face to face, ay, face to face, uh, synchronous, hindi natin discuss synchronous is you have your data type. So you have your boolean, integer, uh, double, and all those stuff. Tama ba? Yeah, float, integer, ganyan, ganyan. So, for this one, I'm going to use double. Uh, let's have sum, your, then difference, then product, and you have quotient. Okay. So, for the solving part, of course, you have your sum. So, how are you going to solve for the sum? You have x plus y. Tama ba? Tama ba? Tama ba ako? Okay. So, since we're tamad again, so, we're going to do, okay, x minus y. Tama ba? Difference x plus. Then, you have product x times y. And then, you have your quotient. Then, x divided by y. Okay. So, that is how you're going to solve for your uh, sum, difference, product, and quotient of the two numbers. So, any number uh, entered here since your x is being, uh, in, uh, since x and y is relied on what is being entered by the user. Ayan. So, you have your sum here. So, anything na i-enter nila, uh, yun. Yun yung lalabas dito. Pero hindi pa sila lalabas at this moment in time because hindi pa natin sila na preprint. So, yung sum, difference, product, and quotient, up to this moment of the program, hindi pa siya magpapakita sa terminal because hindi pa siya na ilalagay sa isang system that out that print. So, yun yung isipin nyo. So, so, sa part na to pa lang, solving pa lang yan. So, ano pa lang yan? Ah, uh, okay. So, Okay. Siguro, inisip nyo bakit, ano, bakit ko pinagsasama-sama lahat dito. This is just a coding coding discipline. Actually, you can have this, like, uh, you can delete this one. Comment ko na lang, ha? Para hindi na ako mag-type ulit. Okay, you can have double sum. Ayan. You can have it like this also. Pumasipag-sipag ka. Okay. So, you're actually in this part. Kapag ganito yung ginawa nyo, guys, uh, ini-instantiate nyo na yung ginagawa nyo na yung variable. Nilalagay nyo yung data type ng variable. At the same time, you are already entering the value of the variable. Ayan. Pero, uh, hindi ko siya feel. I mean, it's really not that great of a programming practice or coding practice kasi parang ang ang dumi so it's good kasi that uh, when you're starting to ah sorry when you're going to start your program uh, di ba kaya nga may flow charting na tinatawag para mailista mo na agad kung ano yung mga kailangan gawin ano yung mga variables sa papasok dito sa program mo para mai instantiate mo na siya sa isang area okay so, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to print print results. Okay. So, makakapi na lang tayo ng bracket na ito kasi tinatamad ako. Lagyan natin ng print line para mag-enter siya. So, the sum is then sum. Ayan. Sum difference sum, 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 sum. Sum, 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 sum. Then, this. Ah, 
Ay, sorry, but for a difference. Oh my god. I need my coffee. <laughs> Product and what's the last one? Potion. Okay, so if we're going to print this one, let's assume that the value of x and y before running. Okay. Uh, so we'll start here as with the scanner. Hey. Okay, starting dito sa scanner. So, assuming that... Uh, our values are 15 and 10. So, x is 15, y is 10. What is the product of, uh, what is the printed result for this one? So, if 15 siya, so this is what happened to your exam, di ba? You're, you're evaluating the code kung ano yung magiging output nila. So, let's just try it before running. So, let's say that the value of x and y is 15 and 10. So, dito, mag, eh, magkakaroon siya ng value na 15. x is 15 and y is 10. So, we're going to evaluate it here. So, 15 plus 10, 25. 15 minus 10 is 5. Product, uh, I don't know. Joke lang. <laughs> 15 times 10. 150. Ah, tama ba? Ah, tama, 150. Tapos divide something, something point. Okay, so... Kaya nga tayo gumawa ng program para hindi tayo mag-solve, di ba? Ano ba yan? Okay, so we're going to enter it. 15 and then 10. Oh, okay. Bakit sum lang ang na-print? Okay. What happened? Oh, iba yung na-run. Heh. Crazy. 15, 10. Ayan. See? Tama ba? Yes, ma'am. Any questions? None po. Okay. So, ito, dapat 1.5 yan. So, kung papalitan natin to into double, ibig sabihin, we're treating it as a decimal na din. So, we're just going to change this one since next IMP yan. Ano ba? Next double ba? Wait lang. I'm just going to double check. Next double nga. If you change the variable type, you should always change this one as well. Kasi mag -e error siya. So, automatic pag nag red error yan. ba? So, 15. <coughs> 10. Ah, diba? Kasi, if integers this one, tapos yung, yung division niya is merong decimal place, uh, most probably, binubuo niya kasi integer siya eh. It is not being treated as, like, to the decimal places. So, uh, better to use double na rin as well. Tapos, meron namang formatting. Uh, you can search it up to avoid yung decimal na ganyan. Guys, any questions before we proceed? Okay, if you don't have questions, uh, ayun na. Uh, sige, ano, proceed dala tayo sa LMS guys, tapos uh, we'll be uploading the new set of activities for midterms. Yung mga hindi gumagawa ng activities dyan, ha, natatambakan na kayo. Ayun lang. So, kung wala ng questions, pwede na tayo mag-bounce dito sa GC. Bye! Hi, Mom. Fish. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye.
manood kayo mag-axie ako. Char! <laughs> ah, I'm recording. <laughs>